Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the challenges for week 8. And it's 6 again. Some of these are going to annoy people, I for sure know. But there are some good things here and there, so let's just get on with it. So first and foremost, Nightfall Proven Grounds. Defeat combatants using a linear fusion rifle or sidearm in the Nightfall The Ordeal version of the Proven Ground Strike. Which is most likely the Nightfall that we have now. So this one's not gonna be hard. It's just gonna, you know, just do some, some like easy level nightfalls and just kill it. It's, this one's not gonna be too hard. Defeat combatants in legendary lost sectors using sniper rifles, submachine guns, rocket launchers, or bows. Again, this one's not really that hard considering there is one that's like pretty manageable. So just go in there and just get a bunch of kills. I'm gonna, definitely gonna get this one because. I, prob I probably have never shared this, but all of these challenges give you, like, like if you guys can see on the bottom, it says four times XP. That's almost enough to give you a whole level. So, uh, aside from, obviously, like, the brightness gainage, you're getting a lot of levels as well. As you guys can see, I'm a level 231, mostly because these challenges do give you a bunch of fucking levels. So, defeat Prime... Primeval Envoys in Gambit. This one's gonna be... Uh, that might be annoying as fuck. We'll see. Because I'm definitely gonna do some we weeklies today. And then Lenses in Focus. Go to the Prismatic Recaster and discover how to unlock more lenses. I think I've already unlocked all the lenses. So this one shouldn't be too hard considering I've already done. And then Trial by Firing Squad. Win multiple rounds in the Trials of Osiris uh, playlist. Essentially... It's just rounds, not uh, actual games. So this one's going to be, I, this one's not going to be as annoying as I thought. Thankfully, I was dreading it. I was like, ah, oh, there's a fucking Trials of Osiris one. Thankfully, hopefully we won't see something like Get Flawless uh, or something like that. If this is as much as we can expect from Bungie, then this is fire. I, I'm okay with this considering rounds isn't that hard. I mean... There will be a case where you'll fight like a god team, but I mean, at that point, just fucking die and just let them have th that W. But yeah, last but not least, it's going to be acquire the Panakea ornament for the Salvager Salvo Grenade Launcher. I'm guessing this one is for the Vanguard, maybe? I don't know which one this is, but I'm pretty sure it's that one. And I've already, I've already gotten it, obviously. So these are not that crazy in my opinion, aside from maybe the Trials of Osiris one where people might be a little annoyed by it. I, I get that. I really do. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. It does give you a Trials of Osiris weapon. Hopefully it's a good weapon. Hopefully it's like they give you like a really gener generous like loot pool like, oh, this is going to be this weapon with like a really high percentage of getting these uh, perks because if it's, if it's just like a weapon that's dog shit then I'm just gonna be like cool like thank you I guess I don't know I'm gonna destroy it so let me know what you guys think in the comments below uh I'm gonna be doing the review for this season coming up next not today most likely maybe tomorrow or maybe today I still haven't made up my mind but let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media links are in the description below thank you everyone that's come to this point and I will see you guys later